What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video and to another League SBC video. A couple days ago EA released a championship SBC uh, that of course had two very good players, one of them being very, very good uh, with Phillips there, Maguire being decent and I've actually seen a few people using Maguire and he's, he's good enough, very much good enough until you come up against super high tier meta teams. Um, today we've got the Eredivisie SBC, sadly, um, which I, I assume is mostly because Team of the Year is coming in just a few days, there is nothing new elsewhere, not a sing not even like a you know Zidane story or Kante story, nothing new in season objectives, um, nothing new in milestones, still just the same old uh, milestones that are available, I uh, really hope EA get involved in that, and then typically speaking there's not a lot new in SBCs anyway, of course, we will have the new marquee matchups, which is for a rare Electrum player pack. So if you're into League SBCs, now will be a good time to do those because the rare Electrum players pack will crash the silver market, which is always nice. Uh, Olympiakos versus Panathinaikos. 69 rated squad with 70 chemistry. One player from Olympiakos or Panathinaikos, which means those players are going to go high in value. So go and sell those and a premium silver pack for the uh, premium silver players pack for the reward, which again would lend in towards crashing silver players. Um, a prime, a premium Electron players pack, so more silvers for Sporting versus Porto, uh, Sevilla versus Athletic Club for a jumbo premium gold pack, and Napoli versus Inter for a rare mix players pack. And I think somebody had called this uh, a couple of days ago on Twitter that the marquee matchup rewards this week were going to be heavily nerfed because it's Team of the Year on Monday. EA don't want you saving packs for Monday. They want you to be like, oh, let me just open it. It's not great enough. And so a rare Electron players pack as a group reward instead of a prime gold players pack, then a silver players pack a premium Electron players pack, a jumbo premium gold pack, which is only a 15k pack, and then a rare mixed players pack, which is obviously four bronzes in there. And that requires a Napoli and an Inter player, which means Napoli and Inter are again going to go high in price, specifically Napoli, because their league SBC team already is one of the more expensive ones. Um, but for that, for a rare mixed players pack, it's just not good enough value. So EA have obviously killed the rewards for this week for marquee matchups because they know team of the year is coming but let's take a look at the new league sbcs that's available we've now got 10 11 available now with Eredivisie coming in uh, before we look at the players let's once again just look at the uh look at a pack so we only need 10 ajax players let's see if every every other team is uh 11 only 10 for uh zwole as well uh, Vitesse only needs nine and Willem 2 only needs 10. Willem 2 a couple years back were one of the really expensive teams where their players were always worth like four or five k in terms of the rewards, silver again, a rare gold pack from Ajax. It's not too bad, but they've changed it from like mega packs and uh, premium gold player packs. Uh, premium silver player pack, again, silver, mostly silver. Small gold players pack, very much like the uh, championship. Premium gold pack, small prime gold players pack. That's not a bad uh, reward there from PSV, although it's for PSV. Uh, premium silver players pack, more silver players. Jesus, there is a lot of silver in this. There's not too much gold in... Um, in the era divisie but when we look at the players that are on offer depending on certain in-game stats skill moves and weak foots we could have two monsters on our hands we've got bahabek and bazoa now bazoa actually used to have a good card in the game a few years back i can't remember exactly what it was but let's go and have a look on um Fubbin. so first of all for bahabek he has been given a massive upgrade and for all of ea's mistakes you know with rewards today and with Harry Kane and the tweet and such. For all of EA's mistakes, I really rate the fact that they keep taking these low-tier players and giving them monster boosts. He's been given 17 pace and 21 dribbling. 15 shooting, 16 physical, 1 defending. Why Why? Why even bother? And then 9 passing. 3-star um, skill moves, 4-star weak foot is a much better combination than, in my opinion, the other way around. So that's not too bad. And he's 6 foot tall. Medium-low work rates isn't ideal. So... Although he's got some really, really nice in-game stats, and I think a Dead Eye Chem style for him is going to absolutely be the one. Yeah, um, you can't, you can't fault this. I mean, yes, his like his uh, incidentals aren't really great. Medium low, not too great. Three star skill moves, it's okay. Five star is much better, but three stars okay. Four star weak foot is pretty decent. But when you look at this card with a Dead Eye, he's got great pace, maxed out shooting very good physicals and brilliant dribbling his balance is a little low but his reactions are really high his composure is okay um if you give him a sniper you can boost those dribbling stats up that is a, that is a magnificent card and maybe even a maestro or for for his physicals there maybe even a marksman um gives him a good strength and aggression boost not really uh 
too, too valuable, uh, I would say. I think a sniper for him, or even a hawk, or a hunter. A hunter would give him, obviously, that pace and shooting, make him absolutely rapid with that really high agility. For a guy who's six foot tall, that's a, a strong, strong card right there. Let's uh, boost those stats in a little bit more so you guys can see them. Um, I, I personally would probably put... What, what are we saying with hawk on him? Great pace. Mm, it's not enough. May, maybe an engine... That dribbling, that pace is magnificent. His shot power is already very good. You need to boost that positioning, sadly. So it either has to be the dead eye for that 15 positioning or it has to be the sniper for that 5 positioning. I think I'd go for the dead eye, 100%. Uh, that, that is a remarkable card for a League SBC card. That might be one of the best attackers we've had so far for a League SBC card. And he's French, so he's going to be very, very easy to link. He's nice and tall. Um, he's just got a lot of really, really good stats. And the boost that EA have given is massive. And then the other card that we've got here is Bazoer. So he's been boosted from a 73, 13 pace, 15 dribbling, 17 shooting, 13 passing, 11 physical, and then one defending again. I don't understand that. If they could have boosted his defending up into the mid-70s or high 70s, he would have been one of the best all-rounders. But anyway, before we look at his in-game stats, for a centre mid, pace and dribbling is already brilliant. Passing is already high. Physical is already high. This could well be... An extremely good card. Three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot again, which for a centre mid is actually unbelievably usable. You know, you prefer the four-star, four-star or better combination, but four-star weak foot for a centre mid is great. He's six foot tall with medium, medium work rates, which again for a centre mid is very good. This card is brilliant. This card is absolutely brilliant. Physicals again are fantastic. Um, you could even play him at striker. He has very similar stats to Bahabek. Four less pace, five less shooting, six more passing, three less dribbling, two more physical. Uh, but if you wanted to use him as a as a, a literal centre midfielder, what could we do with him? Basic gives him a decent boost around all around. Sniper makes his shooting brilliant, his finish, dribbling brilliant. What's interesting about this card is even though his passing is down at 85, it's because his free kick accuracy at 48 just brings it all the way down. His short passing and long passing as base cards, as base stats, are already very good. His vision's quite good. Um, his dribbling is very high end Every, everything even before you get into putting chem styles on he, he's in high 80s or, or 90s that is a very strong card sniper could be useful for him but as a center mid where would you play him at cam maybe maybe you play him at cam although three star skill moves i'm not overly keen on dead eye chem style makes him a 93 rated cam and as a dutchman not quite as easy to link as a Frenchman, but there are definitely some links you can put in there. You know, if you've got Van Dijk in, if you've got Dumfries uh, from the Eredivisie, we'll take a look at some of the players that you can link with them. But Dumfries' uh, road to the final card would be a great way to link him into a team. Um, with the dead eye there, that is a truly, truly uh, phenomenal card right there. Uh, we've got the Marksman on him, which I don't think is a, a good one. Hawk, I don't think is good either. Artist makes him a really good uh, cam, but again, I think Artist is just a chem style that's a bit stupid. Uh, Architect's not really a big fan of either. Although with that dribbling and shooting how it is, it's not too bad. Powerhouse, you don't really want to use him as a defense midfielder. And then Maestro, this could be the one. His long shots and shot power will be great. His finishing inside the box won't be ideal, but his dribbling is top tier. And then his passing is literally top tier. Uh, engine with that pace boost is quite nice. <clears throat> great pace, great dribbling, great passing. The fact that we're getting these level of cards, I know they're only 84 and 85 rated, but the fact that we're getting these level of cards as League SBCs has me excited for things to come in this game that we might end up getting some really, really high-end earnable cards throughout this game. Sentinel you don't want to use, Guardian you don't want to use, Gladiator you don't want to use, nor Backbone. Anchor could be okay if you're playing him as a secondary CDM, uh, but I don't personally think it's going to be the, uh, the way to go. I think for him, uh, we'll be looking at Maestro, just because it boosts all those good stats in the middle and using him as a central cam. Engine is very good as well, but I've got to be, gotta be uh, up front again with how I think Deadeye is going to be the one. I, I think for both of these two cards, unless you really want the pace on Bahabek, in which case I'd probably go for a Hawk or a Hunter, um, I think for Bazoa, the, the Deadeye is definitely the one. Long range shooting is brilliant. Passing is brilliant. Dribbling is already in very high tier for a man that's again, is six foot tall. Uh, do they have any traits between them? Um, long shot taker CPU only. And then Bahabek. Uh, Bahabek, sorry. Uh, does he have any traits as well? Injury prone, long shot taker and speed dribbler. So all CPU traits as well. Um, and then to look at what you can link with these cards. 
there's a lot of good stuff. You could obviously link, you could soft link um, either of them to Tagliafico. You can hard link Bergwin and the Bazoa card. The two Dutch players would hard link together very well. The same as Promes as well. Where is Promes on here? Yeah, Promes, you, you could hard link to him. And obviously you could soft link to both of them. So if you do have one to watch Promes, which I hope you guys went and got the re-release of, if you did get the 86 uh, Tagliafico from the objectives, you can now link Tagliafico, Promes, and then Bazoa in at centre midfield. And you will have yourself a brilliant triangle over on that left-hand side that is going to be super, super usable from the ear divisie, which we just did not have at this stage last year. It just wasn't available. It wasn't an option. Uh, you've got that Neres card as well, which I'm not overly keen on. Uh, Van der Beek, uh, not really uh, keen on. Um, Blind, obviously not really keen on. Uh, and then the uh, the other player that I do think is pretty good. Obviously, he's not going to get an upgrade from now on. But Dumfries here, as a Dutchman, again, you can strong link him to Bazoa, which gives you multiple opportunities, especially if you have Van Dijk. He's only 16k. I wonder if he's going to go up. Might be worth an investment in him. I reckon a lot of people will do that card and pick up this Dumfries. Let's see if he goes up towards 20, 22, 25k in the next uh, day or two as people complete this at a League SBC. But this already... Is a, is a good card. You know, again, from the Eredivisie, an anchor on him makes him very good. A shadow, if you're desperate for that pace, makes him very good. He's already got very good physicals, very good defending, great pace. Passing leaves a little to be desired. Balance is a bit low. Agility is a bit low. He'd be a bit heavy, but he's fast in a straight line and gives you uh, some good link options. So there's some great options from these two cards. And generally speaking, I think EA have done a good job here. Um, there's... A few, as, as, as we've been through before, there's a few of the league SBCs that aren't very good at all. Um, there's uh, the Premier League being one of them. Super League, for me, doesn't really have too much going on there. They're, they're just two run-of-the-mill players. Saudi League has, obviously, uh, Aguir Garay, who is brilliant. When you look at, like, Niakate, 97 pace, but then 83, 84, and 80 for dribbling, shooting, and physical, it really makes you understand just how overpowered this Bahabek card could be. Because he's got 91 pace, 93 dribbling, much more shooting and, and good physicals. All in all, I think this is a great reward set. And uh, I think EA have done a really, really good job with the League SBCs again today. But for today, this is going to be the end of the content. I will have a draft out a little bit later on. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.